It's time for plumbing. I'm making the main connection today, so I think I have running water today. And then I'm gonna make some temporary solutions because the plumbing is going to be an ongoing project because now I'm living in that cabin, so I need water there. But in a few weeks or a month, I will move out because I'm working on the roof and then I need water somewhere else and there I need a sort of a clean slate to work there. And um, yeah, I want running water, so I'm, I'm gonna create some temporary solutions first. Probably a shower outside. I have a small boiler, uh, 15 liters, so it's nice to have a warm shower. And um, yeah, so this, this is the things that I bought yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna need much more, but this is probably enough for some uh, temporary solutions. Outside they use polyethylene here. I'm just following the local building codes and, uh, and it's quite a good system, quite cheap too. So that's all of this, it's all, yeah, it's plastic. And the advantage of that is that it can um, change shape, you know, when it's freezing it gets colder, smaller and bigger. So this is a good, a good pipe. can have up to 10 bar, so it's a lot of pressure. The water pressure is very high because of, uh, because we're on the mountains, so all the water goes down. Uh, so that's why I have this thing, it's a, a pressure controller, so you can lower the pressure with this one. And then what else? Just a few connections, a few taps. What I want to do now also is make a tap over there next to the garden. So I have water over there too. Uh, you know, to, so I don't have to walk up and down with a, a water can. How's it called? A gieter, we call it. Water can. No, it's something else. <laughs> it's alright. So I'll make the water connection, the main connection outside over there um, because the meter has to be outside for the water company to be able to check it so i'm going to build a little box which is insulated and the pipes are going to be insulated and uh, mostly on the ground when they are, they're outside of the box um, first i thought i'd do it inside but then i've got a lot of plumbing going on inside and i'm losing space so i think it's better to do that outside
still charging. I'm gonna let it charge. Tomorrow I'll look again and set it to 100% in the afternoon. It probably needs to do some charging. So I'm just set.
1st of April, starting pretty cold, it's freezing tonight and uh, some snow coming this weekend. Um, yeah, I hope the last snow. After that it warms up again so it's probably going to be fine. I haven't planted anything in the garden yet, so uh, nothing's going to be frozen, but it's not good for the trees. I think I'll do an outdoor shower here, temporarily, because I can't make a shower in the cabin because I'll need, I'll be working in there. This cabin is a mess because it has all of my tool, tools and equipment. And then I'm gonna build the cabin over there. It makes sense to move the boiler and the shower over there. Every, in the coming months everything is changing so often so I'll make something that is uh, that I'll be able to move easily Canapa.
Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I need.
All right, outdoor shower finished. It's a um, 15 liter electric boiler, solar powered. And uh, yeah, I can, I can put this wherever I want. Eventually it's gonna go over there. You know, once the cabins are finished, this could be a nice shower for uh, people come to camp here. But now it's my main bathroom, so let's see if it works. I need a longer power cable, so I'm gonna disconnect this. Thank you. 